Hi, and welcome to another moment with Horizon Mechanical, teaching you homeowner maintenance tips that you can do yourself. Of course, you can hire someone to come in and do it if that's what's best for you. But I just want you to know, don't be afraid of some of these projects. You can get in there and get it done. Today, we're going to be talking about replacing caulk in bathrooms. Every once in a while, the caulk does need to be replaced around the bathtub and in the shower. You always want to be prepared for the project, so bring some scissors into your bathroom. Make sure you've gone to the hardware store and told them that you need to get some caulk for your bathroom and tell them what color the caulk is in your bathroom. Beige, white, whatever. You also want to have a little scraper so you can clean out the area and get rid of all the old caulk that's there as, at least as much as you can. You want a little dish so you can put some water in it and a rag. That's all the tools that you're going to need. And so let's go in and I'll show you what to look for around your bathtub and how you can go about replacing that caulk if you decide you want to do this project. All right, here is what you want to remove for the dried caulk that's in your bathroom. This is the area. You want to find pieces like this that are loose and get those to come off. Anything else that you can clean up that edge, you do want to go ahead and do that too so you can make it as clean as possible when you're doing that in new installation. So any of this loose stuff, just knock it off. It takes a little bit of time, but as always, it's the prep work that makes the finished product so much better. So take your time, go through your bathroom, and just get rid of any of those loose edges that are sticking up. Like right there, I just found one more. So you want to go ahead and get that off there. You don't have to get every single little piece, just get what you can. And then when you're done with that, make sure you go through and really clean that area because you don't want any of those loose particles getting in with your caulk when you start to redo the job. Okay, once you've got your area prepared, you want to cut the tip off the tube of caulk. Make sure you cut about to that first line that they have marked on the tip because that's a good indicator of how large the opening is that you want to have on that tube. After that, then you just want to go into the corner, always start in the corner, and just lay in a nice size bead of caulk. Doesn't matter if it um, gets too thick. You don't want it too thin because you want to be able to have enough caulk to actually push it down into that crack that's there. So just take your time. As you can see, it takes me two hands to squeeze the tube. That's all right. Just go ahead and do it. I went up a little bit high, but that's all right. We can always fix that. And just gently go through and start to push it down into that cracked area and smoothing it out. You will have some excess. Have your towel, wipe your finger off, and just go back in. Work that area again till it looks just really nice. Get rid of all the excess because you don't want too much on there, but you just want to make sure that that space is completely filled in. You can go back in and make sure you've gotten it off the tile. But look at how nice that looks. And that's all you have to do. Now it's ready so that it will dry overnight and it will be ready um, tomorrow so that I can start to use the shower and the bath again. So I've got one side done and what you want to do is just do one strip at a time, fix that, then go on to the next. Alright, so now the job's complete. I've showed you how to clean that caulk out, how to apply the new caulk, how to smooth it. It, as I said earlier, it's going to take some time, so don't get frustrated with it. Just spend an afternoon and get it done. It's worth it. It really will save your home um, from having water go into areas that you, it should not be. So it is an important task, and you do need to look around your house probably at least once a year and make sure what areas need to be addressed. When you're finished, I think you should take a picture. Put it up on Facebook and show all your friends what you accomplished. It's a great thing that you did this. I'm excited for you. I'm glad you watched this moment. If there's anything that you would like to know about how you can do some of the homeowner maintenance at your place, send me a note through our um, website at www.horizonmechanical.com. Let me know what you would like me to show you on the next um, video, and I'll make sure to get that done. So in the meantime, have a great weekend, and congratulations. You did a great job.